must have been pleased with the effort. Uh, it kind of reminded me a little bit of how uh, you, your team lost that first game to the Rockets and that you had some time off and you went from a, a real kind of a, a, the Utah Jazz weren't really getting to you defensively. Then you switched to a team that had a much different kind of mindset. Do you think maybe that might have been in play with the Magic tonight, that it just, they, they had a mismatch against the, the Cavaliers, exploited it, and now they're playing your team, and it, it was just like a jumping into cold water? Well, you know, I, I don't know if I can explain those terms. You know, things turn on a, a trifle in this game, and, you know, there are a couple plays that, that kind of changed that up. Um, they had a five-point lead in the second period. They were kind of rolling against our, our bench mob out there. And, you know, we made some changes, called a timeout, and it, it flipped. The switch flipped all of a sudden in these guys, and they went from that five-point deficit to a ten-point lead. But there was a lot of little things that happened, tip balls, uh, you know, missed shots. They had some wide-open threes they didn't hit. We got some uh, rebounds that were, you know, good solid plays we had more offensive opportunities you know those things happen for us uh coach uh you've admitted that the magic probably could not have played worse in this basketball game can the lakers play better than what they played well you always think they can and you always want to see that i mean here's two teams that uh, came in the finals that have a total of 17 turnovers for the game which is a limited number you know uh so the turnover wise you know it's tight game um, you know, our, our exceptional part of it tonight was Kobe's drive. I think is intense. He didn't shoot great. I mean, he's 16 for 34, but you know, his energy in the game carried it. Bob, what did you think of Bynum and the uh, matchup against Howard? You know, he had some, some times out there that I thought he played him really well. He did a good job. Bird, are they the outside? Game. This is a guy that's, you know, he had some opportunities that he converted on, which we liked. There's, a couple plays that he could have uh, probably powered through for some layups that didn't happen for him, but you know those are those are going to happen still. You surprised Howard shot the way he did? Well, certainly, you know this is a guy that's you know 50% better shooter, 60% shooter. You know some of the things that happened is he didn't get dunks, and that's a big part of his game. Phil, how how often does does Kobe surprise you? I know he's had 40, uh, four or five of these 40-point games in the playoffs, but does it ever surprise you when he pulls out a game like this? Uh, I think I've said no before many times when you've asked me that. It's, he's known to play big in big games. Phil, Kobe said earlier in the playoffs that there is no such thing as momentum. You have to remake it game after game. How do you sustain what you saw in terms of energy tonight? What can you do between now and Sunday? Let's go one on the third goal. Well, there's two days off between these games, so it's a big opportunity for them to reset themselves and get themselves back in, in form. Uh, for us, it's always, you know, coaching staff, we always think the team that has to make the adjustments has the advantage. Uh, you know, we have to find a way to anticipate what they're going to come back and do, f do against us, see what we can do to eliminate the mistakes we made tonight and play even better defense than we played on Sunday. Offensively, I think there's some things we can, we can find uh, and learn about this team.